Hello, YouTube. So how I ended up dating a homeless guy. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I dated a homeless guy. I'm not the very, uh, the most proudest of that, but this is a new uh, segment on my YouTube where I would tell story, story time, where I get to tell you guys about stories that I've lived as a child growing up in my teenage years, years and this, this and that. And this story here is about how I ended up dating uh, a homeless guy. I don't know if that's correct uh, way I said it there, but let's start at the beginning. So me and my friend, um, this is, uh, I met my mother. At this time, I refound my mother. Yes, I had to look for my mother. There's another story time for that. So I found my mother um, growing up in my teenage years. I found my mother and uh, my mother pretty much let me do whatever I wanted. I had some neighborhood friends at that time and we used to cross the street to go like to the grocery store, H-E-B in Texas, um, crossing the street. And I met like this guy who was on a bicycle and um, he was like a bald head. He was smooth. He had some nice jeans and a shirt. Uh, I thought uh, he kept looking at me and then he whistled over at me and says, hey, you got a light right a lighter and I'm like mm -hmm, interesting no we don't and they're like hey, hey let me let me talk to you for a minute and I was like okay so the guy comes over um to where we are and he's like oh so what were you guys going um like are you from around here do you live around here and you know like me being being smitten like I think the guy is attractive you know he's he's got uh, he's got his he's attractive uh, I'm answering every question and I'm like, what about you? You know, like, um, do you live around here? And he's like, nah, I come from this area. I don't really remember what he said. Um, I wasn't really even paying attention to what he was saying. I was in love. I was, I had a huge crush on him at that uh, love at first sight. And, um, he is like, a, uh, risen me up, you know, back in the day, they didn't have the rising thing, but now the kids call it rising. He was risen me up. And I was falling for all of it. I was falling for all of it. And then they're like, okay, see you um, um, again. Oh, you know, after we had exchanged a couple of questions, a lot of stuff, see you again tomorrow. Um, do you have a telephone number? Uh, I gave him my cell phone number and I went home and I was like uh, uh, freaking in love already. And I call him, uh, he calls me the next day and he's like, hey, you want to meet up? You know, you want to meet up at the same place that we met up? And I, I didn't think anything of the wrong of it. I'm like, sure, let's go. So then we we uh, talk and we're just talking all night. I stay up to 2 a.m. just talking to him. And um, I, I'm, go I'm getting, I'm setting up this, the picture. Don't rush my story, okay? We're going to get to the point where I dated a homeless guy and how I found out. Obviously, at this time, I didn't know the guy was homeless. Um, I, cause he looked nice. He didn't stink. He was not asking for money. None of that stuff. He just had a bike and, uh, he, he was kind of dressed nice. He had a backpack and everything. I didn't, I didn't put one to one together. So then, um, I, I saw him and then, um, he's like, Hey, you mind if we go back to your place and we watch the movies? I'm like, sure, let's go. So I brought him back to my house. You know, my mom is probably sleeping. I don't know. So then the second day comes over and he's like, Hey, can I take a shower at your house? If, if I'm not intruding, I'm like, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Come over at this point we're we've like made out already. We've made out several times. Um, nothing's happened other than making out. And, um, uh, yeah, so he's taking a shower almost every day for like a week. And, and then, um, my mother starts questioning me and my mother's like, Ellie, what are you doing? And I'm like, what do you mean? I, I like him. Like he's, I don't know, like we're not together, but we might be like, he might be my boyfriend. Um, but at this time, uh, we've already made out an exchange, a saliva or whatever. So next week happens. He keeps coming to the house and then next time he's like, oh, can I leave my backpack here? Can I leave this here? He keeps dropping stuff over every day. And I'm like, sure, you know, of course I'm, you know, I'm trying to do everything to uh, appease him and to keep him happy because, you know, I really like him. And um, second week passes, a third week passes and my mom is like, okay, Ellie, we really need to talk about this. I'm like, what, what, what's going on? And she's like, why do you keep hanging around with this homeless guy? And I'm like, what do you mean, mom? I like him. He's my boyfriend. At this time, I'm like, he's my boyfriend. And my mom is like, he's homeless. I'm like, no, he's not. And then my mom's like, oh yeah, so you know where he lives? I'm like, um, not really. It's like, why do you think he keeps coming here to take a shower? 
he is homeless. And I'm, and it, I didn't think about it, you know, because I was so like, I don't know, a crush in lust or whatever. So then I started putting pieces together. Wait a minute. He does have a backpack. He does take a shower in my place all the time. Holy moly. So then I'm, I'm still arguing with my mom in disbelief. No, no, he's not. He loves me and I love him and we're going to get together. And, you know, like in my head, I've already built this whole scenario that I'm going to be uh, painting our future house together. Um, I didn't know it was going to be a side of the road kind of situation. So then I talked to him and I'm like, hey, so my mom says this about you. I don't know how true this is. And then he's all like, yeah, I thought you knew that I'm, I'm not homeless. And I'm like wait you're homeless and i was like but but like you don't stink or anything and you you're not asking for money and he's like oh yeah but i do ask for money i go and ask for money and this location and this store and i'm like well you never asked me for money and he's like no it's because i like you and i was like so confused well needless to say the whole relationship ended when my mother kind of burst that bubble for me and i was dating a homeless guy so if there's any doubt out there that uh, all girls are interested in money not this one okay i literally dated a homeless guy and i have uh, receipts to back that up i dated a homeless guy for a couple of weeks maybe a month or two months um yeah until my mom told me that i was dating a homeless guy the reason i think we ended up breaking up and i still don't really remember i think my mother um prohibited me from talking to him or at least entering the house again so i think i don't know chat you know what they say you can't keep a, a homeless person down and i guess the person really liked being homeless and it was a decision that he made consciously because he didn't look in quotations homeless he didn't smell it and he didn't beg for money or anything I mean, he asked for to take a shower in my house, but I don't know. I don't know. Have you guys ever dated a homeless person? Um, again, this is something that I want to try new and telling people stories of my life, of my upbringing. This is a story of how I dated um, a homeless guy. I didn't know. He was pretty attractive. He was uh, fit. He actually was fit. He had a bald head. He looked nice. He smelled nice. I dated a homeless guy. You know what? I probably wouldn't do that in my life now, but I didn't know anything back then. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is a new story time thing. Next story is probably on how I found my mother again. Uh, my mother abandoned us as children, so maybe look forward to that. Um, Thanksgiving is pretty around, uh, pretty much around the corner as well. Maybe I'll, I'll tell you guys and record my actual Thanksgiving story of how we went to a Thanksgiving homeless shelter with my dad to, um, I don't know if it was a homeless shelter, but it was just like, I, I guess we ate at a shelter where they gave away free food and gifts to the children who were less fortunate. Maybe I'll talk about that in my next story time, but for now. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hey, you. I'm tired of being the hero around here. How about you be the hero for once? Hit the subscription button. Come on, do it. You know you want to.